Hello Sagittarius. Thank you so much for checking out my channel here at Reflexive Moon Tarot. My name is Sarah and I will be hosting a general reading for you in accordance with the full moon in Capricorn. So we are channeling Capricorn energy while the full moon is fully lit. And that basically means that we are taking into the um, taking into consideration the positive aspects of Capricorn as we move through this full moon. And those positive attributes are centered in ambition, they're centered in structure and staying grounded. And we may also want to come to terms with the negative aspects of Capricorn, which are, um, which are what? Rigidness being pessimistic and also controlling. So nothing to do with not remembering things, thank goodness. <laughs> Although you could argue that that is a bit of a rigid mind, not having memory, but mm, it's so subjective, right? Okay, so we're not starting with Tara. We are starting with Mildred's deck, the secret oracle of Mildred Payne. Keeping it mad positive, right? We have crow reversed at the top. At the bottom, we have axe. In the middle, we have harp. Crow, axe, and harp. So we got 49, 69, and 56. Those numbers might resonate with you on some level. Uh, there is also the ambiance of Offspring and Fortnite in the background. Pay no mind. So Crow Reversed is... Is... Well, when it's upright, it's an omen of bad news. <laughs> so when it's reversed, we're going to go with the opposite of that. Uh, no more bad news. There is no criminal activity of any nature within or that you are affiliated with, at least at this time, which is great. Uh, now, you may want to watch yourself, though, because, you know, all might be quiet on the Western Front. But does that mean that it's going to stay that way forever? I would say that uh, the axe reversed would indicate that it's going to be some time while you're dealing with no conflict, which might be boring to you. Like that might not be uh, your lifestyle, but there are no disputes. There's no violence. There's some progress even, I would say, that you're experiencing. That could also be something that you've experienced in the past is progress. And I would say also that peace and serenity and rejuvenation is going to be uh, probably sustainable for you for a period of time so let's you know let's count our blessings and see that as a positive Sagittarius high five right so let's see what tarot has to say Okay, so there is some reflection, though, that you need to do. Like, you know, peace in your life does not mean that you are free from having to improve yourself in any way, shape, or form. Let's be real, right? We can count our blessings. You know, that's always good to count your, like, to actually count your blessings. To take a serious look at that and to have compassion for others in the process of counting your blessings but it looks like you're not really taking the time to reflect 
on how good you have it or even what things you need to work on because you've been through a lot I would say usually this is the wounded or you know this is the veteran who's finally had his had their honorable ending right and you may want to reflect on what it is that you need to do or overcome or to achieve still in your life to be considered as reaching that goal of honorable ending right so how can you improve how can you connect and how do you think about those things and usually it's you know it's it's like kind of like a, a kind of like a death where you you know really maybe even imagine what your life has brought like imagine yourself dead and how you view your life it's really it's a bit morbid but you know it's not it's not terrible right to do that and then it helps you to think about the things that you still want to do you might light the fire under your ass there is there is like I'm, I'm you know this is going to end a cycle for you if you if you manage to to move past through this this reverse four of, of swords it will create this this death I would say that you should do just that even imagine what it is that you how how you will respond to moving on in life right um, so this is overcoming a cycle a mental cycle of going through change of learning and growing dealing with conflict and you know a piece of you you let go of piece of you does actually die in this process and you move on and it's painful you've been through a lot of pain but you're ready to begin the cycle again it's like the death card it's a period of renewal you might be stuck not being able to let go of some things. There might be some things that you think too much about, which the four of the four of swords reverse could indicate as well. You could be stuck on ideals. Ideals that are not realistic. About yourself about others within your within your uh, life but you're making like you're making you're starting to make some money which is good and you're independently like manifesting your coins and enjoying yourself in the meantime enjoying like you know those who you have responsibilities for not necessarily your you know you, you have children but uh, pets family, kids in your life. Just really wanting to be a good example is what the nine of pentacles indicates. The two of pentacles though is kind of like not really honoring the gifts that you have. What you're doing might not be what you like doing or a reflection of the best things that you have to offer. You also might not be making as much money as you would like to doing what it is that you're doing. You do have a solid idea. You know what it's like to make money. You know what it's like to have family or you know what those things look like. You want to build those things. You might be at a bit of a loss though. Like you might feel like that is something that was an opportunity that you gave up in the past as well. Or that it's just not, it's something from the past that you walked away from even. You also could have just experienced a really happy moment with your family and been very satisfied with you know who you are and those that you share your life with feeling like it's a lot
And I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is not the same for everybody. It is also subjective. It doesn't necessarily mean like wealth and abundance and making a shit ton of money. It's also like happy with the legacy that you and your family have built together. And there's a young person that is, you know, you particularly might be fond of. This could also be you wanting to learn some more, some more skills or sort of how to take off. How to take off with the gifts that you have to offer with what you know, what you want to learn. Soaring high. Mm -hmm. But you want the young people in your life to soar high as well. Interestingly, you struggle to cut your losses and to move forward. There might be too much that you're holding that you're holding on to, or or you might feel like there really isn't much else to move forward to. And that's like a mindset piece that others recognize others recognize that you might not see the best in them or you might be a little bit overcritical or worrisome like you might worry too much that people are not moving forward it's it's a weird attitude to have as the as the uh, six of swords reversed Yeah, that is a really weird attitude to have. It's really um, contradicting, I would say. Then we have the fool. So you are looking forward to embarking on a new journey or any new projects that come your way, which is awesome. It's a really great extension of your attitude to have hope for new things. Uh, you might also be afraid that um, there isn't going to be any new opportunities for you, which is an indication of this 100%. So this might, like you might feel like karmically this is what's meant for you. Uh, you might feel like there's no more adventure in your life. Sad. That doesn't necessarily have to be true. But even still, like, life, there's a lot of boring components to life. The daily grind is not an adventure every day. And not everybody gets to live a life of adventure. And it's totally acceptable to be modest and almost mediocre and just like, have people that you love and do things that you like to do, make a modest amount of money and die happy with surrounded by people that you love. Not even everybody gets to do that. So, I mean, I can see how it would be if you're fearful of having no new opportunities, no new adventures, but you just make little ones for yourself. So here's your card reversed. Your, your energy, I feel like grounding. Like Capricorn is telling you to get grounded because there's like a, a lack of balance with your, with your watery, like with your emotions, with your feelings. You might be like too detached or too clingy to something. I would say that you need to take a look at the ways in which you're too clingy and too detached. Because detachment and cling like clinginess is like not your vibe at all, Sagittarius. But detachment, you know, you can go overboard with that. And it's not effective. It could be what's cutting you off from, from moving forward. Because you have options, you 100% have some options left in your life. It is not done, right? The seven of, or sorry, the oh, this is the nine of cups. Just kidding. Okay, so options. Yeah. Also, you have like also you have options, but you have cause to celebrate. 
milestones in your life your accomplishments this is like the ultimate me party card and you have there's plenty to go around you don't want to overdo it right and this is not necessarily like have any this doesn't have anything to do with alcohol consumption this is just seeing how many full cups you have and like counting all of these fabulous blessings in your life and to like that they're really like this isn't a good time to be concerned or worried this is a time to be proud and a time to be to feel fulfilled and to sort of like graciously celebrate your achievements because you you've made your decisions in life you've made decisions that have led you up until this point you're confident in the decisions that you've made and you know that you have everything that life has to offer so emotional conflict is like what whoever you're like whoever you're in conflict with in your life uh, it's time to it's time to get honest with yourself about how the bad outweighs the good and how you kind of want to figure out how to warm up and stop and stop this business of feeling like you're insecure or somebody's like ruining you ruining your good name drama right there's no actual drama but you do have to be honest with yourself about situations where the bad outweighs the good. All right. That's it for you, Sagittarius. There's lots of cards there. So enjoy this full moon in Capricorn. Take care and like and subscribe to the video. Like, like, it, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Catch you next time. Take care.